The night sky was dark and the stars shine bright overhead. Headlights casting eerie shadows on the road ahead. I felt a sense of pride and accomplishment wash over me. We had just completed the FJ Moto Mountain Cross Challenge and we had done it with determination and passion. The journey had been a true test of our mettle, pushing our skills and endurance to the absolute limit. The event slogan, earn your scratches, earn your scars, and only for the brave, had proven to be more than a mere turn of phrase. We had battled through grueling obstacles, each one challenging us physically and mentally. Yet, we never wavered in our resolve, encouraging and supporting each other every step of the way. With 13 riders in the group, we knew that strength in numbers was our ultimate weapon. As we rode towards the finish line, victory was within grasp. The culmination of hard-fought battle that had tested their courage, determination, and teamwork. But everything begins somewhere. And it all started in Porak. <laughs> All right, good morning. I'm here at the FJ Moto Mountain Cross Adventure 2. 150 riders here, uh, ready to take on the challenge. It's gonna be 1,200 kilometers, 60% road, 40% off road. You won't know the destination until you reach checkpoints. So, here at the starting line, all you will be given will be the first checkpoint, uh, the, the coordinates going there. And then uh, you find the next coordinates once you re reach the second checkpoint. So, uh, sa team namin, 13 kami, uh, team Aura, so malaking group. Very hopeful na makatapos and uh, mag enjoy and uh, mag chill. On the first day of our adventure, we focused on getting to know each other and assessing the group's riding dynamics. We quickly identified who the fast and experienced riders were, as well as those who preferred a slower pace. Good morning! Let us Alright, five minutes to uh, gun start. Uh, first wave will be KTM team and then uh, followed suit by uh, other teams. Gordon has already been given, so uh, everybody knows where to go uh, at this point. We just need to configure uh, our GPS tracking system, so I'm gonna have to go to the green tent uh, to get mine uh, set up. So let's go. Only for the brave, earn your scratches, ladies and gentlemen, Team Aura. They have to take a picture of uh, the group as proof that you passed through the checkpoint. Okay, pa, okay, pa. Okay, sir. All right. Sakto. Sakto lang. Solid. Sakto at all right. first checkpoint was a welcome break, offering a glimpse of what the next three days would entail. We detoured down the Fanzio River, weaving through gravel-filled trails before setting off towards your next destination. The winding roads of Villa Verde and towering pine trees of Santa Rosa, culminating in a breathtaking campsite at TLR, tested our balance and focus.
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good, good so ride far. so far. Good solid, ride. Safe solid, ride. Solid. Everyone's having fun. <laughs> Uh, kalalabas lang namin ng maliko and medyo ibang route yung dinaanan may paikot pa sa, sa likod so, medyo challenging ng konti but uh, okay naman so far so good we're waiting for the rest of the crew and uh, I think din na navigate may part, may part kasi na pababa na medyo madulas so dun sila nahihirapan but uh, everything should be good so, so I'm looking for uh, tindahan sana may tindahan para makainom ano oras ba? siguro mga last stress na lang hapon but next destination is somewhere in Aritao titignan namin kung uh, anong pinakamagandang route going there magpa-plan kami sa group ipa-plot namin sa GPS and everything should be okay so hopefully patapos namin siya and we can get to at least checkpoint 4 on the first day uh, ang plan namin is tirayin yung mga may hirap na lugar sa first day para chill na yung second and third day um, let's see kung kaya natin gawin yung plan na yun, no? But, uh, so far, so good. <laughs> Una natin pupuntahan ay ito. So, ito yung tumbok. Then, trailhead to. Aakyat tayo dyan. Yan, dire-direct ko yan. Tapos, aakyat pa tayo dito. Tapos, paikot. Then, we have to take a photo here. Ah, uh, ayun yung mahirap sa GS na 1250. Medyo may power pa din talaga yung Primera. Pero ang kaganda nun, kahit anong tarik nun, kahit wala kang momentum. And as we set out towards the town of Buyasias in Nueva Vizcaya, the majestic Sierra Madre mountain ranges loomed in the distance, their panoramic views and stunning vistas taking our breath away. As the night fell, we settled into our first campsite, taking advantage of the beautiful plateau that surrounded us. It was a perfect end to a challenging but rewarding day, and we knew that the days ahead would just be as exhilarating. Sarap! Sarap! Sarap, <laughs> dude! Ano to? Checkpoint sulit, number? Sulit, sulit, sulit. Ano ba to? Fourth? Fourth Three, third, 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 third. Sige pa, pa, pare. Pa. So, dalawa pa? Dalawa na lang! <laughs> Di ten, dude. Di ten. <laughs> ano? Kaya, kaya, sir. Kaya, kaya. Pwede pang bumalik ang green hills. Kaya, kaya. Masabitin yung oras. Solid, no? Oo. Kasi hanggang six lang. Kung siguro eight, pwede pa siguro tayo mag... Mag four pa. One, one checkpoint pa. I didn't expect hard trails. The first one wasn't, we didn't find terribly difficult trails. It was mud made it difficult. The, the size of the bikes made it difficult. The trails are not easy, but they're not enduro trails. They're not, you know, hard trails. Um, the navigation to me was always, I thought that would be the most difficult part. That was the hardest part in the first round. If you go down the wrong road, there's no one to tell you you went the wrong way. Um, I think ito na yung pinakamahabang trail that I've ever tried. Um, it's nice to be back in TLR, I mean in the TLR campsite. Um, I've been to Maliko before, pero I never experienced it this way. Kasi before parang vacation lang, we stayed in a house. We're actually setting camp right now and we're up in the mountains. And first time ko rin tagusin yung, yung trail around. The, the, I didn't know there are so many more trails around ano, the TLR campsite. And I always found the TLR campsite really nice kasi yung gaganda ng mga puno, ganyan. Marami pa tayong checkpoints sa tatahakin eh. <laughs> Checkpoint number 3A and we're at the top of the mountain. Everyone's here. Uh, the weather's cold and so refreshing. Uh, everyone's tired at this point, but uh, you know, with this view, with this awesome view, and the weather, uh, you know, it just re-energizes you and uh, makes you want to do more. So we're pressed for time. It's uh, almost uh, five, so I'm not sure if we can make another uh, checkpoint. Uh, we'll try it, but if not, then we'll definitely set up our camp. And then, uh, yeah, I, I, that's the most exciting part for me. Set up camp and uh, be with these guys, get to know them better, and 
Yeah, just have fun. So, look at that view. Amazing. Morning, Mark. I don't want it. You don't want it, morning. You're missing a camping spoon. Huh? You know? Camping spoon. That's a Madeline. Huh? That's a Madeline. That's a Madeline. Anina. May part on me. But it's just a tent because it's just a tent. Tarp. Cut situation. Yeah, be voxile. But you know what? Above the ground, it's a little bit of a thing. I think you know the reclame of the event. It's a little ground. Effective caso, as you see, Julio is really a little bit of a thing. I'm going to be a little bit of a thing. I'm going to be a little bit of a thing. I'm going to be a little bit of a thing. I'm going to be a little bit of a thing. I'm going to be a little bit of a thing. Day 2 proved to be a true test of our off-road skills as we were given coordinates that took us up and down twisty trails from Nueva Vizcaya towards Ambagio. We're here at the Hillside Hotel Dito uh, after Aritao. We've just completed stage uh, or checkpoint 3. Apparently in checkpoint 3, a, B, C, D, and E pala siya. So maraming uh, uh, sub-checkpoints. They were saying na after nito is checkpoint 4 and 5. Yun na yung, yun yung may hihirap talaga. So may mga uh, riverbed crossing, may malalaking bato. In tight turn dyan, ingat ha. The highlight of the day was crossing the infamous river in Anchacan. It challenged and required stronger riders to cross first and come back to assist the other riders. With bigger group, we had an advantage, as more hands meant more help. Sabit ilog. Ah, yan ako. Barahan. Actually, may iksilang naman, but medyo malalim yata yung ilog sa akin. Pero mas matulis. Barahan dito. Kaya kami doon sa taas. Kaya down here. Kaya na all the way there. May bumagsak doon. So, I think kaya naman. Basta doon doon. Kaya yung bike doon eh. Talk, dude. Why? No, we're going to bang in. Normal. Bang in. Hard to hit you now. Oh, dude. So, what's that? What's that? What's that? There's a bump there. So, what happened? I crossed one hill. I didn't have power. I was freed. I was freed. 
O babalik? Bumalik. Bagsak. So, siyempre, di ba, walk away. Na walk away nga ako, may bangin. Puta kayo siya, dudulog ako. Siguro mga 15 feet. Yeah, mga 15 feet. As in, literally, kumakapit ako ng... Sa kayo, one hand. Hindi, talaglag ka ba sa bangin? Mga teammates ko, walang kwento. Mga kakapsul ko, iniwan ako mag-isa. One minute, nagtatali lang ako ng bag eh. Next minute, wala na akong kasama. <laughs> Pinauna mo ako. Akala ko yung time mo. Akala ko parang friends ko. Mali pa. Mali akala ko. Andito ka naman ngayon ha. Nauna ka ay. Eh. Buti lang, magaling ako. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit mo naman iniwan si Cindy? Pinauna mo ako. <laughs> Narinig ka namin, sabi mo. Sabi mo, kasi guys, mauna ka na. Mauna ako. Hindi kasi mabibitin, di ba? <laughs> Yun na nga, pero akala ko, antayin mo. Hindi <laughs> kayo nabitin, ako lang. <laughs> Musta experience so far? From Ilog all the way here, challenging? Uh, Ilog was fun and cold. Going up here, challenging. Rewarding once you go up. It's uh, fucking amazing and scary. <laughs> so good. Part of the, part It's of like the uh, game, watching man. a bad horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Watching a bad horror movie like that. <laughs> Because you're in it. <laughs> basic, basic ilog. Peke. Peke. Basic, ano? Alam mo, buti na lang, madalas tayo magsang tainis. Yun, yun, ganun, ganun, tama, tama. tainis. Yun. And tama, tama. buti na lang, lagi natin linilinyahan muna ang ilog bago tama. tawirin. Yes. Tama yun. Lakad And muna. Said, lakad muna. Don't Hindi kailangan mag magmadali. Oh. Never be afraid to get your boots wet. Mm. Oh, dude. After the river crossing, the trail led us to Ambagio, where we slowly traversed along the mountain trails of Mount Pulag to get to Tino. This was the point that we started to feel the setback of having a larger group. The line ahead spread out, with faster riders ahead while the newer riders begin to feel the fatigue and started to ride slower. All the roads are going to be like this. Ito na lang. We will encounter another junction sa banda sa taas. Stay to the right. Right lang, direct diretso. Sa tango. Uy ka, huwag kang gaganon. Bad yun. Pagbabagsak ka pa kanan lang, pagbabagsak sa kaluwa. Two, this is Cobra One. Kung walang talaga siya, parang naunog. Nasunog yung ano eh. Doon din pala. Nasunog. Nasunog. Umagas din doon. Yung goma. Yung goma. We made it to Dango National High School, but we didn't have enough time to push to the next checkpoint at Tinoc Municipal Hall, which was the goal. Dango Elementary School, almost 6 uh, p.m. Pero... Day two is uh, done. Uh, we're here in Tinoc. I think this is after nung parang river uh, campground dito and then uh, pinagluto na yung pagkain and then may room ayan may may bahay na pwedeng gamitin medyo mahirap yung ano yung day 2 kasi yung ilog number one, hindi naman siya ganun kahirap actually pero dahil malalim yung tubig tsaka malakas yung agos kailangan talaga ng tulong-tulong and magkakaiba ng skill level yung riders and then going up medyo challenging pa rin yung kasi tuyo pero madulas no So, but everyone's safe. Everyone's here uh, at the campsite. It was a good day. Challenging, uh, but very, very rewarding. That's uh, the whole point, right? It's to get to experience uh, trail riding, adventure riding, the true adventure riding. But at the same time, uh, go to places you've never been to. Uh, sobrang ganda ng view, grabe. Um, breathtaking, lalo yung, uh, yung fire roads sa uh, gilid ng, 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 ano, ng uh, bundok. Sobrang ganda ng view. We had to find a campsite for the night, which proved to be a struggle at first, but the hospitality of the Kalinga people did not fail us. The Gawa Jose accommodated us and offered us shelter and food. We even had a chance to meet her husband and learn about their way of life. 
for one minute. 30 seconds. 60 seconds. Oh. Oh. Good. <laughs> After a sumptuous meal cooked by our teammate Amor, we gather around the campsite before retiring to our sleeping bags. We finally called it a day. It was a tough second day. A lot of things are going in my mind uh, no ride. Yeah, so a lot of reflection. I think it's good for me. Figured something, uh, some, some things and yeah. I'm just uh, really thankful about this opportunity. When I when I signed up, I, I didn't know why I did it. Uh, I know it's going to be difficult. I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be unsafe. Um, but here I am and uh, enjoying it, really. And uh, not only I'm experiencing it, but I'm also learning a lot of things. It gives me time to reflect um, on, the, on the things on, in, about my life, about the uh, decisions I'm making and uh, it's been really helpful so i am appreciative of this uh, event and yeah looking forward to cross that finish line good night Six in the morning, packing up, and then uh, we're gonna go. First stop is uh, the checkpoint at uh, Tinok, uh, that's the wooden bridge, and then we're gonna go way up to the, I think, the highest point, and from there we'll know what the next checkpoint is. So, day three. Uh, hindi ko masasabi na New day, new day, third day. Let's do it. Last day, last day. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh! The third day was a test of endurance. We begin our journey at six in the morning and set out towards the Tinoc Municipal Hall. Our goal was to reach the marker for the highest point of the Philippine Highway in an hour before tackling the remaining checkpoints that covered Kalinga and Ilocosur. Mount Timbok. After Tableo Lake, Dito yung uh, checkpoint sa bridge and then dun sa exit ito para siguradong dadaan dito. Sobrang tarik, uh, cementado naman but uh, daming hairpin and grabe yung uh, uh, ascent niya. No? So yung mga iba naiwan dun taking their time. Itong group na to, fast group, kasama ako dito. So uh, magre-regroup muna kami dito. I think uh, we're gonna get there. With this pace we're gonna get there somewhere around 2pm, 3pm. Hopefully. Oh. May signal eh? Wala pa din. One set. Trying to get the next coordinates. Still nothing. Yun ang pace, pare. Ha? Yun ang pace. Hataw, no? <laughs> Tara, pare. Mahirap na eh. <laughs> no. Kaya yung pangalan natin, magdito tayo matapos, pare. <laughs> Most of the routes were paved and the checkpoints offered various picturesque views of the mountains. Landscapes that I have never seen before in my life. Despite feeling re-energized and excited, we knew that we were falling behind. We had stopped frequently during the first two days to capture photos and videos, which had taken a toll on our progress. The finish line seemed almost out of reach, and the chances of completing the challenge 
we're looking slim. We decided to pick up our pace and ride faster, but we encountered more problems along the way. Three of the bikes started to experience overheating issues, and one of them broke down completely upon reaching Suyo Municipal Hall. After a couple of more kilometers of trying, sadly, we had to leave a teammate behind. As we rode into the night, it was particularly challenging for me since I had lost my eyeglasses on day two. I was heavily reliant on the lead rider's alerts through Cardo and the taillights of the bikes in front of me. I was determined to reach the remaining checkpoints and eventually the finish line. The final 10 kilometers were absolutely critical. As the finish line drew closer, the pace quickened and adrenaline surged through our veins. Hearts were pounding and excitement was building with each kilometer the thrill of victory almost tangible. It was a nerve-wracking experience as the end drew near. The finish line was in sight, yet it still seemed so far away. And then, at 11.30 p.m., half an hour before the cutoff, we finally arrived in the finish line. It was already dark, but in our eyes, it was bright blue day, telling ourselves that we made it exhausted yet filled with a sense of accomplishment. And at this very moment, I knew that this was something that we would all remember for the rest of our lives. The FJ Moto Mountain Cross Challenge had pushed us to our limits, but it had also brought us closer together as a team, forging bonds that would last a lifetime. Second, second team.